This is Hannah Viteris. We're asking a guide price of £29 million for this particular house, and it's worth every single penny. Those lucky few are going to need deep pockets. They'll be vying for a fully restored, grade one listed, 200 year old home over five and a half thousand square feet. Six bedrooms, eight bathrooms, a choice of extensive reception rooms, a walled garden, and one of the many highlights the terrace overlooking Regent's Park Boating Lake. There's even a separate muse house for guests or staff. In a prime London location, it's one of the most expensive properties on the market in the UK, and it's yours for just £29 million. Pounds. We've seen a spike of activity from Singaporean buyers coming over, so from my experience, feng shui is very important to them. To assess the property's wider appeal, Lee has invited a colleague along from Sotheby's Asia desk. Ning is no ordinary agent. He's also a feng shui master. Hi, Lee. Thank you so much for coming today. You're very welcome. So this is it? Let's see what you think. Yes, it's oh, incredible. Feng Shui is a methodology to determine whether a property is a good or not. What a stunning house. It's gorgeous, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Look at the ceiling height. That's what makes these houses so special. Wow. How amazing is that terrace? I really love it. It's an incredible house. We are facing the lake, which is good, because in Feng Shui, if you directly face the lake, it's the water can bring the fortune, can bring the money into this house. This bit is something that we need to talk about. OK. Because if you have flowers in this direction, if you are married, your wife needs to be a little bit worried that you might have some affairs. But if you are single, it's perfectly fine. So what you need to do is just simply remove the flower from this direction. That's it, solve the problem. So just for me to remove the flowers takes out that negative? Yes. OK, well, that's, that's a no-brainer. That's fantastic. That's easily done. But if you are single, keep it. Well, depending on who I show the house to, I guess <laughs> I can hide the flowers. And if there are a couple, remove them. Wow. And if it's a single guy, I can put them back up. Does yes. that work in theory? Yes. What else can we do? to enhance the viewer's experience with this house. What I would do is I can cleanse the whole house just to make sure that this house is blessed. Well, that would be amazing. I would appreciate that. Could that work if you do it on me? If you want, I, I can. I could probably do with some cleansing. <laughs> yes, I can give it to you some cleansing. Oh, I feel cleansed. It's Broker Diana's favorite place to do business, and she's here to view Kalras House, moments from Park Lane. It's already on the market with one other agent for 30 million pounds. Diana's hoping Sotheby's can get in on the sale, but that's down to high-end property developer Cam Babai. Hi, Cam. How are you? Good. Good, 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 good to, to see, see you. you. How are you, Will? So I've known Cam for as long as I've been doing this job, so over, you know, 12 years. Cam demolished the original 1929 Muse House, then spent two and a half years rebuilding it brick by bespoke brick. Hopefully you're going to find us a buyer. Well, that's what I'm here for. With, with a nice big fat checkbook. Yeah. So we can do a nice deal here. Well, Come on, let me show you around. I'm excited. Let's go. Behind this solid walnut door, is an 8,060 square feet mega mansion, stretching across six floors with five bedrooms and six bathrooms. This residence caters to the needs of even the most demanding ultra high net worth. So here you got the office. Yeah. You got your television room or your, your waiting room for mm -hmm. your office. The sleek hallway leads to a double withdrawing room and a large private two-tiered garden finished with self-cleaning Portland stone. You know, bearing in mind you're in Mayfair, yeah. to be able to get a south-facing garden and super quiet, it's fantastic. It is, yeah. really nice. Inside, you can bask in the light of these Lalique chandeliers at 17,000 pounds a pair. And whilst the kitchen is below ground, it's just as bright. I do love the fact that you've got the skylight there, so that brings in the light as well, yeah. so it's nice. So you've got natural light coming mm. from the garden, 
and you can flick a button and it covers it off. So if it's too sunny, yeah. you can actually take the sun away as well. And there's more tech for a keen cook with four voice activated ovens, two microwaves, and an electronic dumb waiter, all housed in custom built cabinets. The average kitchen makeover costs eight grand. This one came in at 280,000. And the extravagance doesn't stop there. Oh, wow, I love the lift. So, out of interest, how much did it cost to do this? A normal lift that we have done will cost 125 to 150. This has cost us circa 460,000 pounds. Wow. So, let's take you up in this work of art. Very smooth. Well, it should be. This lift costs more than most people's houses. Upstairs, the opulence continues on the principal floor with a pair of plush bedroom suites. This is as good as it gets. Yeah. I mean, the wallpaper itself is mm -hmm. 1,600 pounds per roll now. Wow. You and you really, I would appreciate if you didn't touch it that much. <laughs> yeah. It's quite Sorry. expensive. <laughs> it, it is hand-woven shiny silk to have that layer. It's really lovely, really nice. The dressing room has no less than 12 Hermes wardrobes, one of many designer indulgences, from 14,000 pound bedding sets. Oh, wow. To bronze and glass taps by Lalique in the Bianca vein white marble bathroom. But the tour's not over yet. This is lovely as a guest bedroom. You want your guests to stay as long as possible. And with a smart tablet on the bedside table controlling everything in the house, they may never leave. I could turn on the gym from here. I could turn on the swimming pool jets. And I could turn on the television in the cinema room. This is not your average basement. That's what I was looking forward to seeing. Yeah. Yeah. It's more like a leisure and wellness spa down here. There's a plush club room that doubles as a cinema, nightclub, or bar, whatever you like. Also, a massage room and a professional gym overlooking an eight-meter pool on the level below. But if relaxing in this 1.5 million pound pool room isn't your style, switching on a jet turns it into a workout. You can see there's a current so that you can swim against it. So you can use it not just for fun, but as a part of your exercise. Yes. After all that activity, you can kick back here in the steam room beneath a twinkling canopy of fiber optic bling. It's been designed amazingly so that you could come with your guests and just enjoy the weekend without having to go out. It's like a fun house, isn't yeah. it? Diana is desperate to get this listing, but with other agents in the frame, she'll need to persuade Cam to let her join forces. OK. Hello. I'll have a... Gin and tonic, please. Actually, no, tequila and well, ginger beer. Only if you sell the house. I'll put in then <laughs> the bar is a dry bar for today. Well, that's up to you to give me the listing, Cam. Well, it certainly is up to me. Mm -hmm. We know that. But it's also up to you and Sotheby's to show me what you can do. Diana may be one step closer, but with no guarantee of a deal just yet, she's determined not to let this golden opportunity slip through her fingers. Oh, well, that was really intense, but I think it went well. I'm really excited that he's given me the opportunity to pitch to him, but he's a hard man to, to really work with. Um, but it's a good challenge to have, for sure.